Hello, uh, my name is Jeff Feige. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a custom wallpaper on the iGel Linux device. The support files for this, uh, the profile and the wallpaper uh, will be available at the link on the screen. It's um, bit.ly forward slash capital W 9 lowercase c capital I capital Y capital S. So um, the first thing that you need to do is have a wallpaper that you want to use uh, and then we set up a web resource in the iGel UMS administrator console um, not the standard iGel console but the administrator console so um, so you see here I have a couple wallpapers in uh, folder uh, on the administrators desktop we'll start up the uh, UMS admin and we will go to the snapshots file source tab and we'll create a web resource for the wallpaper and we'll use something similar to a wallpaper <laughs> and, uh, and we'll point this to the folder that has the wallpapers in it come on windows anyway um, so once it creates it you'll see it here in the in the list and the folder will have a web infinite and uh, that is all we really need to do for the administrator console. So we'll close that and we'll open up the standard iGel UMS console. Um, I've already created a profile here and we'll walk through what is in this profile. It's very straightforward. Um, go to display, desktop, background, first monitor. All you need to enable is uh, these two settings, enable custom wallpaper download and the name of the file. Um, the file, it is case sensitive, so keep that in mind. And then we go to the custom wallpaper server and uh, here you can see we have a lot of options but I'm using HTTP because we're pointing to the UMS um, so this is the uh, host name of my UMS server this is the server path is the um, the name of the web resource that we created uh, port 9080 which is the default for our web resources and the username and password are the DBM password for the UMS console um, and that's all we really need to set up so we'll go down here to my test VM and we'll shadow the device and you can see that there's the standard iGel wallpaper there um, and what we'll do is go over here and apply um, the profile that I just showed to you and we'll push that setting out to the device and we'll go back over here and see it got a new configuration it goes ahead and it downloads the custom wallpaper and there it is um, it's really quite straightforward uh, to remove the wallpaper from the device you do the, take the, the uh, profile off push the settings out and um, as you can see uh, the partition gets deleted and it's uh, back to normal um, that file does not go out to the thin client every time it boots it uh, actually creates a custom partition uh, on a wallpaper partition on the device and the file stays on on the device until you tell it to remove it um, again, my name is uh, Jeff Feige, and um, this is a uh, Linux wallpaper how-to. I hope it was helpful. Um, the support profile files, again, are at the link on the screen, and uh, have a great day.